two o'clock. I'm tired. I finally started to fall asleep at like 10, 30, and then slept for like 20 minutes. I woke right back up before even 11 o'clock. And then I'm like, man, I need to sleep. And then like 1130, I'm like, I'm really tired. And I passed out. I was back awake by like one, freaking wide awake. Got my alarm set for two. Wide awake. And I think we barely got like any snow. They originally forecast like, fuck, I don't know, 12 to 14. Then they changed it to eight to 10. And then everybody was saying three to six. And then earlier this morning, two, the two weather apps and one news station were all saying three to six. And another news station was saying eight to 10. Nobody had a freaking clue. And then last I heard, almost every one of them was saying two to four inches. I don't think we even got two. Right here in my town anyway, but. Right here in my town anyway, but everybody else is saying that. I talked to a couple guys already out plowed. They said it's super heavy, wet stuff, and a town not even 20 minutes away says they got six inches, so I don't freaking know. But I hit the remote start in my truck. And Billy hit the remote start in his, and then he went outside, so I think he's brushing my truck off. We'll see. I need coffee. This parking lot is a pain to push. It only had like two inches in it, if that, but it was so wet, heavy, and sloshy, it rolled off everywhere. There's like a layer of slush on it again. Probably have to come back and clean up in the morning. Billy's over here clearing sidewalks. I started to do that whole line with the little mini Toro snowblower. It was working great. Even that heavy wet slush stuff, he tried through that. The problem is, it ran out of gas. And you can run that thing for a long time, a long time with very little gas, but I didn't pay attention. And last time it snowed, I used it quite a bit. And I knew I was supposed to bring up a can of premix because that thing takes premix. That little guy right there. Toro CCR Power Light E. Three horsepower, two stroke. That thing's a beast. Eats all kinds of stuff. Just single stage. But man, she a beast. So, anyway. Now Billy's got to do all the sidewalks with that. I, I like using a snowblower and all the entranceways that go up to all the doors on all three buildings. Because it just it cleans it better and um, it just does a better job. With that plow, it's kind of hard to finagle and get in certain areas. So, you end up leaving rolled over chunks in places you gotta clean up with a shovel it's a pain in the butt anyway so i'm gonna fill this salter up here with salt we have one two three four we have five buckets left about 50 pounds a bucket so it's like 250 pounds of salt there we'll probably only use like three but it's still coming down the weather apps are still way off still claiming one still claim we're going to get 10 to 12 inches this storm's going to be over within like the next four or four and a half hours and it's it snows a little bit and then it rains and it snows and it rains so i don't think it's going to build up to anything more i might have to just come here in the morning push through real quick and clean up all the slop but that's going to be about it and we're not even going to plow our driveways i came right here billy went to start some driveways and he called me he's like pops there's only like an inch in these driveways some don't even have that so i said all right just come up to the apartment son so that's where we're at sometimes using this is way easier 
than anything else. It's definitely a lot faster and it does such a good job. Putting this UTV blade on this Toro this year was the best thing we could have ever done. As far as doing sidewalks for these apartments, I mean, it has helped us out. It's so fast and does such a good job, but there's a lot of tight areas where you just can't get into, which is why I was referring to the snowblower. Um, it's just so much easier with the snowblower and around all the dumpsters, you see me right there with a shovel, you just, you gotta get in the sides of the dumpsters in between the fence and the sides so the tenants can throw their garbage in there, get to the side slider doors on the dumpster. And uh, you just can't get this blade in there. So you either have to use the small snowblower that we have or you have to shovel it by hand. And then those areas have to be salted as well. So um, this thing just flies because it's the grandstand that we made faster before the deck mounts initially broke on it. And it just makes it much, much better. But this is just a driveway. Um, it didn't really have much in it either, just like the rest, but it was full of that slush and that nasty wet sludge. It just, uh, we are more worried about things freezing up on us because they're back and forth about the temperatures, just like they were at the snowfall. They said it could be 42 today. Other ones said it won't see over 31 degrees. And if people drive on it and make ruts, so to speak, in the slush and it freezes over, we're screwed. It's starting to snow again. We thought it was done. Half this stuff I'm plowing right now is just like an inch and a half to two inches of slush. Nasty, slushy crap. But one thing says it's supposed to go up to 43 today. Another one says it's supposed to drop down to 28. I don't know which one to freaking believe. I do, however, know that if I leave this stuff and it freezes over, that's going to be a nightmare. So... I'm plowing slushy slop, especially on places like this, where it's just a small parking lot, but it's enough of a parking lot that it's gonna be a real pain if it does freeze over in the people that live here in this apartment complex. If they keep driving through it and making tracks through it and then it freezes over, <sighs> I'm not gonna wanna touch it after that. So anyway, we got the apartment stuff. And I said, let's let's go plow all the stuff that's up in this town, which is my route. And uh, we'll split it up. And you go do these ones, I'll go do these ones. We'll meet up after that. So we did that. And we got done with that. I said, all right, let's go start working on your stuff together then. So we split up his stuff. I went to one end of it. He went to the other end of it. And so now we're making our way through it all and getting it all cleaned up. So... We'll see what happens. I think this snow, I didn't even think this was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna be done. So hopefully this ends real soon. It doesn't seem like it's gonna accumulate too much. I think it's like 39 degrees outside. So should be fine. Okay, you guys have seen these in the summer because I mow these cliffs of these houses. But I also plow these driveways. <laughs> So there's one that goes in, camera never does justice. And it goes all the way up that hill. There's a part up there in front of the house that goes up to that garage up there. And then there's this sucker right here. But you still can't tell on camera, you never can. That's insanely steep all the way up that hill and you slide like crazy. Buddy of mine plowed it and he slid right down this hill. He went off right about there and come straight down right through the grass right there and buried his truck right down here and up 350. That's a steep sucker all the way up to the top. But that's it. Everything is officially done. We did end up going and plowing all of our driveways. We plowed every single one of them. Some of them barely needed it, but you know what? Billy's like, what do we do? And I said, dude, in my experience, I'd rather them call me and complain that I plowed the driveway when it didn't need it versus call me and tell me, why aren't you here? And I said, so... It is what it is, man. Let's just plow and be done with them. That way nobody can call and complain. And if, if they do call and complain, then oh well. It's heavy, wet, slushy nastiness. It didn't quite meet our three inch trigger in most areas. Some areas it did, most it didn't. Um, but uh, it is what it is. So now we're gonna cruise up the road here to mine and Billy's favorite little breakfast joint. We uh, little diner we always go to. And uh, we're gonna go have some breakfast.
and I'm hungry and I gotta pee so bad. I love plowing at night in the middle of the night because I just stop in the middle of the road and jump out and pee. Anybody else do that? If you do that, put it in the comments. I wanna know who does that. Tell me I'm not the only one. I'll just stop in the middle of the road if nobody's coming, jump out, pee, jump back in, keep going. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess not everyone does that, but I do it. And Billy does it. And a lot of the guys around here, I know they do it, so. Put in the comments if you guys do it. I don't know, it's kind of a crazy video all over the place, but I tried to get you guys as much as I could. I didn't want to record another one of just night plowing. I know it's hard to see, but uh, so whatever I could. I should have filmed them two driveways, but next time I do them, I'll definitely film them. So this driveway actually belongs to the mother of the property manager from the apartment complexes that we do. And it's a little bit out of my way, but I go out here and take care of it for him um, when he asks. It's not something that's on my regular schedule. So the last storm we had, when we had that bad ice storm and all that snow, he never asked me to come out here. Uh, sometimes she has a neighbor or something snow blow it. Apparently she did not because this stuff was packed right in there. You'll see here how many times I back blade this thing and with as heavy as this blade is, it should on a normal snowfall, it'll scrape it right down. Um, I, it's very rare I back blade more than once, twice at most. Um, it just, it's so heavy, it scrapes so well. Um, but I just had to keep going over it and going over it and then pushing up against it and then try to back drag it back again. Um, it was just really, really packed in there. It's like a sludge and a layer of ice underneath that from that last storm. Uh, it was really in there, but I don't know. I got it cleaned up well enough that she can get in and out with no problems. Um, it, uh, it's, it's manageable for her. And... Um, I think it did a pretty decent job. I would have liked to have scraped it better, but you know, when it comes to snowfalls and things that aren't, you hit a driveway that's not taken care of on a regular basis, um, you know, you do the best you can and that's all you can really do. You can't get too fussy about it. You can't let your OCD kick in if that's an issue for you because um, it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. And to be honest with you, um, I was just happy I didn't tear up her yard all over the place because there's no plow markers in there. And uh, that would have definitely been nice. This driveway here belongs to one of the waitresses at that little diner I was telling you that Billy and I went to that we go to for lunch sometimes, but always for breakfast. Um, Billy came up and plowed her driveway early this morning, about two o'clock in the morning, but um, I had to go past it to get to that one I just showed you. And I noticed that the highway department left about a foot of thick sludge at the end of her driveway. So I figured before she gets out of work, I'm gonna pull in and clear that up. Um, but I know she had about another inch, inch and a half of snow in her driveway. So I figured while I was here, might as well just scrape the whole thing down for her. So it's nice and clean when she gets home. Uh, she just has a tiny little SUV that I'm not sure it's even four wheel drive or anything, but 
you know, instead of her having any problems or having to deal with it, then, you know, it'll be done when she gets there. But this is me getting out because I thought that my plow had moved on its own like the issue I was having before, but just checking it, everything's good to go. Now normally I would just back drag a couple times, push off the side, gone. But this is my driveway. Billy and I have been driving on it instead of plowing it because, you know, why plow our own driveway? We don't get paid to do ours. So it was really packed in there. You notice my blade trip? That is a, that's like an 1100 pound blade. It takes a lot to trip that sucker. This stuff was packed. But, I guess I better do the sidewalk. I don't know where Billy is. My guess, plowing some chick's driveway, I'm sure. since 2 a.m. Not bad. Time for a nap. <laughs> 